This movie is to show how to create a custom palette from a photograph. Open any photograph on your computer that you wish to use for this purpose. In this particular one I see a lot of a similar color so I'm going to first crop the photo. This is the crop tool and I draw around the area that I want to incorporate in the in the uh, color palette. I hit enter and it crops the image. The next thing you need to be sure is that it is an RGB format. When you opened it up it was important that it is an RGB. Go to image mode and make sure it says RGB. If it doesn't you must reopen it and ask at the point of reopening for it to be RGB. At this point we're going to now change it from RGB to indexed color. We are going to then select local perceptual and the number of colors. I'm going to pick 20. Now I look at that and mm, I'm not getting the colors I want here so I'll pick 30. It's looking still subtle. How about 40? Now I'm getting this little colors I want in this area. You want force to be equal to none, transparency checked, and dither to be none. Have preview checked in order to see what you're getting, and you hit OK. Then you go back to image, mode, color table and you see the colors that were extracted from this image and this becomes your palette. At this point you need to save it. I save mine under applications, presets, color swatches. I also like the ACO format so I'm going to change this to ACO and I'm going to call it cactus because that's what I use and I make it ACO. That works. I then save that and I say use ACO. Replace. Now I can close this and I can open it in my swatch panel by clicking here and going to load swatches and I check Cactus ACO, open, and there is my Cactus colors right here. That is my custom colors palette. Easy schmeasy, right? 